Okay, so we're, we're really off there. Chow Natun. Chan. Oh, I've got a little bit of a list of the things we've talked about before, the various connectors that we've covered. Mm -hmm. The last time we had really focused on these, we'd introduced bile to push. Um, the other broader topic we had been talking about were some of these compounds involving chow and the question word. And I pulled both of these into this list because I wasn't sure what direction we wanted to go today, but I could also pull stuff up from other um, previous notes, like that list of connectors that I had pulled out of the, not connectors, modifiers that I had pulled out of the dictionary. Mm -hmm. So you tell me. Well, I just, um, I'm just, uh, just, just curious of where, 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 where um, we have even, um, even dabbled into the other, the other word, other, other suffix, uh, ti, or, Tia, Tia, Tia. Yeah, and uh, myself, I just, <coughs> I just, I was just uh, bringing that up because uh, that's what we we we, dab we dabbled into also, Tia. And, um, <clears throat> let's go back. Let's go back to the. Uh, the, the whole beginning of all that. What, what would you, what, what would we, what would you call these? Like, like adverbs. Yeah, they're all adverbs. Um, when I went through the dictionary, I looked for things marked adverb, but he is using adverb in a broader sense. But basically, all of these are words that, like, well, we know how to say X thing, like. I am going to the store, I am doing good. And these are just words that can be really easily inserted into those sentences to modify them, maybe to emphasize something or to say when or where you were doing something. <coughs> yeah, it's like, um, um, Tommy, when I, when I, when I, there's a little more. Now the time time in when Ashwinaka time at ours, yeah. Not at time, but okay. okay. I am always going to the store. I always go to the store, yeah. Just to highlight what I meant before, of course, we already know how to say something like that. So I go to the store. Yeah. I can say when or how often. <clears throat> with this one, the Tamin one just kind of just goes along with the ha on there and it makes it. Um, your outlets. That's more feelings that time and when it's when it's a time at our cell. Ali Kalat in the Shakino Shakwana, Niku, I have Niku Kwai, Iwawa Nichi, Time at Time at the Niku, Iwa Timani Nami. And if you're time in here, it has the throw, hit, strike, or strike, you know, just by itself, time. And the cool, you are Winichi Kushki in a time. And the cool, that's what the actual store is. 
is mm. referred to as a time a time of Taos. Mm. Um, and I know that that's what I grew up with too, is just that time of Taos. Yeah. But uh, I was just looking at that to see, and I, I don't see time at Taos like written for the store, but here Taima is written as uh, the throw, hit, strike, or whatever, then it has all these variations of it's on page 329, the Umatilla Dictionary. So, just wanted to. Yeah. I me crying to a Krishna ma and the Tamin one, the Shwinasha. I, you know, now that's one of the things too that I, I really had to get used to uh, um, how my grandma would say things, then how um, Lizzie but Jones would say things, then. Um, Aunt Thomas's mom would say things and you know, different ones of Smama Mom and Smama Tuma Mom and Maku Kuma and Tamanon, Ayak and Hana and Manipa Sinwe Hana. How they would say things. Nikushke and Akumunish. Um, when I met your, your Kasla, uh, Ala Louise. That's what Janice calls her, Allah, Louise. Uh -huh. So I start talking to her in a language. And, yeah, however that you want to. Quite some nishwa. John, you got to uh, switch around that Y and the M. Damya. <laughs> it's Taima. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that might my that, that might be an error. I don't know. I I don't know. But yeah, um, um, yeah, I've heard that word. I've um, I've asked to go to the store, and uh, my my cutler, uh, Ag Agnes would uh, ask that. Tundam tundam pai What are you What are you gonna buy? You know, that when they go to the store. That was, in, that was in my in my sticky finger stage. And the kushki chawi to a kushim yik the word for trade. Time, you know. Yeah, I had to make sure that we I said that right, or or you know, you know, then I'd hear that. Time. Uh, yeah. Because that was the that was the pawn shop store. Yeah. Taima Tawas. Yeah, Taima Tawas or Kushri Taima Tama. Yeah, because when we go to Barnum's um, and yeah, that trading post, so to speak. Yeah. Taima Tama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's uh, that's yeah, just how things were said. I mean, how things are changed a little bit now. I'm not sure if that might be a typo or what. Maybe something got left out. But yeah, Taima was something that. You know, I, I yeah, he grew up with. I grew up with. It. I don't know where it, where it changed. No, that where you got the ad on the ad time of Dawas. Must be. I don't know. But yeah, good point. Because, mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, um, and I've always known to if, uh, to throw or strike as Welsh. Welsh. Shinam Shinam Welshpen. 
<laughs> yeah, throw or strike. I, I remember too hearing um, uh, auch it, auch it, uh, you know, um, sometimes if you chan them out, chan them out, you know, don't throw that away. Yeah. You know, chan them out, fita, you know, if you hear that too. And so sometimes when I hear, I remember these words in my mind and I'll, I'll, I'll try to go find it in the dictionary and then sometimes I won't see it. Then I'll try to look in the Yakima dictionary to see if it's in there too. And uh, some, sometimes there's some words that just, you know, at times are maybe weren't, uh, maybe weren't remembered or weren't used or whatever, but that outfit, same thing. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> it was funny coming across my uncle and his his nephew. They were fighting just as we pulled up, and he uh, was <laughs> <laughs> and my uncle and they were just just pulled up and they were right on the, the road into that house and fuck, uncle went duck fell over in the grass and <laughs> just then we pulled up and just then we pulled up between him and then uncle he didn't even hear us and he come he gets up like that and as soon as he stood up and then here here was the car and, and he's looking at his mom and she's looking at him through the you know what the hell's going on here <laughs> <laughs> What does he do? He just instead of going back to the fight, just opens the door and gets in the car. Actually, that shinam is asking, "Who did you hit?" Yeah, yeah. Who did you? throwing hands. Fighting. Shinam <laughs> Moshpin, who'd you hit? Yeah. Wowish, uh, used to hear that too. Wowish, Tanam, Wowish, you know, like, like, get back, get back, because we didn't want to get hit. Wowish, uh, Tanam. Something like that. We hear that too. He wows them. Get back to he wows them. He'll hit you. Mishnah wows that the shah. Want to throw hands? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's funny how so, <clears throat> how this how this went took a talking about Taima and it took a, a whole left turn here. Funny how the <laughs> 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 funny how I just it's just how it goes. It's just how it goes. I got nothing. I'm not saying that we're you know getting off topic, but it's, it's just neat how you know how the how the whole thing went. Just to, it's it's good to, it's good that it comes out this way that way we're not getting um, confused on on wording on how on things that we that we grew up with as you know, as language teachers and the master speakers how they grew up with it and myself hearing hearing things how things were said and done in our times growing up and I try to keep true to what it's what, how how things were said to keep keep those same forms going. Then you know, and that wow, you know, because of that that wow, somehow because of the word for for whipping. Wow, yet, wow, yet, you know, um, you know, being. That for whipping, um, you know, like 
when we get spanked, so to speak. But then, then, it, but when then there's the other word for hit itself too, though, is uh, what touch, what touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what touch? Because you see, um, like man in me what that pama or what that hours. What that hours was actually the drumsticks, but what that pama was the whip, you know, that grandma would have the willow, willow sticks set in a little spot right by the table where we sat. Yeah. The whipping sticks to hit us. Long sticks too, boys. She would make sure she didn't miss none of us. <laughs> all, <laughs> all in a row on a table and boy, she'd, she'd just slap us, you know, with that if we went, you know, being good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah that wow yeah wow wow yeah 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 wow wow yeah wow yeah yeah like that <laughs> has nothing to do with being hit on either <laughs> <laughs> it has, not, has nothing to do with being chash <laughs> <laughs> this is this all Literal hitting. <laughs> I was going to add, if you go to page 376, it's got a list of other words with that wa prefix. What page? It looks like 376, except it's got two different wa prefixes. Um, it's the second one listed there with an implement or with a blunt instrument. Wask. A halter, a horse. What's so soon? What? What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. How that uh, that um, That's Fred's other name he was telling me the other day. A wow we at <laughs> oh wow we are <clears throat> yeah uh teach on killer the other day um in in um yesterday's community class and 
Um, so whenever Jonathan gets that posted up, you know, you'll be able to see some variations. And then Annie shared uh, some translation and so did Gene. So had a pretty good little class yesterday about learning to write and translate. Yeah. Hmm. Like you guys are getting that, getting that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's nice to kind of think about that, try to think about how to put something together, even if you get it wrong, just kind of rack the brain on it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just things that happen throughout the day or whatever. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I've had some funny bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I think uh, even uh, you know when somebody doesn't catch it. It, then you know, and you catch it yourself, and you know, and I'm glad nobody knows what I'm saying. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that time I was giving a presentation at that to Muslik that one time to the middle fourth graders, and Anson Crane was recording it, and um, I was still kind of getting. Um, well, I, I I remember hearing that that word that Jesse Jones used to use. I told like Jesse Jones he'd use that word. He used the word for circle dance, you know, kabip, kabip. you know, then I'd heard subsequent Jerry Maninik say it, and he'd say, kabip, kabip, you know, for a circle dance. But here I'm talking up there at Tomaslik to them kids, and it's all on recording. <laughs> <And> I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the songs that we use for our kabip kabop. <laughs> Nobody caught it, and I just kept on rolling with it. And then after a while, I thought about it. <laughs> come here, come <up. laughs> Hey, come up. Come up. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a, that's a new term for um, hip hop. <laughs> Yeah, it's a circle that's hip hop. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so it. I don't know how we would say that though. Um, um, you know, that'd be something to just kind of think about, like, how would you say that to, to challenge yourself, you know, um, you know, to challenge yourself, you know, to, you know, it's like, you know, like how Bobby was doing, you know, and, and it's always, you know, to see if you're able to, you know, just like saying, come up with, you know, certain things ways to be able to, you know, come up with phrases and place words together. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes the toughest part I have um, is when, when it comes to actually reading it, um, is maybe seeing a lot of those words that are, that are probably up to six to seven syllable words. You know, and and then we see it where the one stresses, and then I have to you know say that one stress part, and then you know just like that word for that what that word uh, for the gym, tama tama wala that pama tama wala that pama, you know, and the longest word for it, the simple word of gymnasium yeah yeah 
Yeah, I don't know what, how we would say that to challenge yourself. <clears throat> I wouldn't know how to go ahead. word that. I wouldn't know how to word that. I was looking at that. In that part, too, we do. Like, fight yourself. Pina <laughs> Nakashwi. <laughs> Because it has that it like being persistent about something, right? The Khashwi is actually a challenge. Khashwi? Nakhashwi. Nakhashwi, Pina Nakhashwi. Pina Nakhashwi, then, huh? Would probably be how it would come out. Pina Nakhashwi. Oh, yeah. It's in there. That's a cool word. I got a student in, uh, at at, um, at Sunridge. His name is Gage. And he gave him the name uh, Nakashwit uh, to challenge. Mm. So actually, he actually took that name. He's actually he really identifies with it. Uh, a lot of a lot of the students in that in the eighth period class at Sunridge, y'all got most majority of them got names given to them from in class by their English translations. Nahashwi, uh, that's one Nahashwi. His name is Gage, G A G E Gage, like engage, mm -hmm. like the fight. So that's a game that name, the Khashwi. No, there's a bunch of other ones. We got Wea, Wea Chai, we got Haiwa, Lakhaust, Kaiwalish. Suli. Yeah, just just a bunch of names that just given in the class. Suli. Tun Suli. Suli. S U U I S U U L I Suli Salted. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's um, um uh, I think it's Naomi's daughter, Naomi Wildbill's daughter. Oh, okay. Shandine Salt it's got uh, Joel Salt's daughters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, took it from her last name and just called her Suli. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she responds to it and she, she, she took it in said, what does that mean it's salted oh my last name said yeah so, yeah so you're you're Suli now <laughs> <laughs> so she she took it she takes it she responds to it no, just like me you know the kids at Michelle a few years ago and Tremaine Moses still calls me that Pushtai and then now um uh, Jean on our community class, she calls me that, which died. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, there's even, uh, what's that? Mary took that name too, Chachush. E, E. Mili Chachush. Yeah, Mal Mali Chachush. Mary Green. Yeah, believe it or not, a lot, that's how a lot of uh, some of our relatives got names like that from because of the English names. 
Chan. This little kid asked me, what's this, what's that? Watching me, you know, put my outfit on. Yeah. Kind of got curious what his name was. was what's your name? Instead of telling me his, uh, his, uh, you know, his shop or name, my name's Kuch. Uh, said it perfect, <laughs> too. My name's Kuch. And then, so I just kind of, oh. Then here, when I was done, when I was undressing, and then I was putting on, I'm going to bring all my stuff, put it away. And here, I let him pack my bells. In my bell bag and he's really walking with me and here it was dark you know how it, there's no light in that back area by the longhouse there <laughs> pretty soon all i hear to us whoo just all my bells just sounded off here he fell over and that's why he's called gook <laughs> <laughs> it was bernice owens his grandson <laughs> <laughs> gook <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah I met this little boy out there, and sure enough, he lived up to his name, he fell down with my bell. <laughs> that kid's probably a big kid now, probably in high school now, I think. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> Chow We have nothing. We don't have Chow Natun. I've never heard of that word. Never used it. Good now. Chai. 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 Missy what Timothy? Miss. No, Timothy. You know, bad or ugly. Chai. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I've never, never, used, never heard that word before. Is that an ejective hat check or just a regular hat check? Just a regular chai. Huh. Chai. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, just known mala. Yeah, that's all. That's all I've known too, mala. No, because I, I with the I started getting back into the book again, the Salish book, yeah. and um, just to just to get things kind of rolling again, trying to get these, trying to just trying to figure out something to do. But I started using it with the um, with the, um, uh, Sunridge students, and uh, one lesson in there, I think it was lesson four. Talk to, talks about uh, using uh, physical description, and I tried it, and I, uh, and I got told to ease ease up on it because it was a lot of the students were using it to be mean to one another, actually, especially Shao and Mala and Yan Yanwa. Those words, those descriptive words, you know, physical description, saying calling call, call someone. Fat, calling them ugly, and calling them weak. Mm -hmm. It was. Um, uh, there was. Yeah, it was just getting. It was just getting out of hand. Some students went home crying because they were getting 
being told that in the language. You know, at at the time, you know, they don't want to sound mean. I didn't. Um, you know, I was, at first, I was like, at least at least they're at least they're saying in the Indian. I'm not, you know, it's a plus on that part, but then yet yeah, I didn't um, I didn't really think of the uh, repercussions of that. So I kind of said, kind of just take uh, kind of skip over that for now, so they get a little bit older, or maybe they look more. Maybe maybe just figure out on that bunch on the bunch you have, and then we'll go from there. It's like oh, okay. So I, I let I let them know too. Let them know when I got got into it. Said I'm, I don't want you guys to use this in any negative manner. Is to, to call someone fat, to call them someone ugly or weak. That these are just, you know, if you're talking about something else, you know, maybe a dog, cartoons, whatever. But try not to. I urge you not to um, use this on one another or anybody else in the school. Is these uh, words can hurt some people? Is, you, you may think that it don't, but some people are really. Can, are really sensitive, really hurt, hurtful. <clears throat> no, I was, I was telling them, how would you feel if I told you that? Because I wouldn't say, see, right, see, right now, you would say you wouldn't feel, feel, feel that way. But I'm pretty sure if I went up to you and didn't know you, and I told you, you, you you're ugly, and walked off, I feel hurt. Hey. So he was cross-referencing this with the Yakima Dictionary, and they say that cha'ai for improper or can't remember what else comes from a verb meaning to spoil or to rot. Oh, mishiwa chai, umish chini. Wonder, do you guys recognize those two words? I know. I think in our word that we've known for um, rotten, though. Is lookum, lookum, lookum. I think, but uh, I. So I wonder uh, if it means like bad or ugly in the sense of like something has gone bad. Oh, well, the one I remember hearing was a chook. <laughs> chook. I I see it. Chuk. Chuk it do asha. It also says dislike. Hmm. Or even um to chai, filthy, or very dirty. Mm -hmm. chai. Is that from the Yakima Dictionary? Yakima. Yeah. Um, hmm. Then that word lookum that I was looking at, that kind of think implies rotten wood though. Um, <clears throat> yeah. But in uh, Yumatella, they got it Chinese, Chishu, Chishuni, Chishuni, Chiwau, Chiwau, not Shawau, but Chiwau, Chine, Chine, Quan, Quan, all these different words for. Rotten or bad or whatever, but the bad and ugly. Nih mala ku chai. Good, bad, and the ugly. <laughs> 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 Speaking of that, I was telling uh, my students how, um, I guess, how malak I was, or kashum, or yaish, or whatever, and Halloween, Christmas, when I was a kid, 
and that was one of the movies of the day was the good and the bad the ugly or for a few dollars more or this full of dollars all those Clint Eastwood movies yeah. and man, I wanted to dress like Clint Eastwood so bad so I had the hat had the boots and you know just looked at the part and even brought some charcoal for my mustache and everything to look like Clint Eastwood or whatever but I didn't have a poncho and I looked around and grabbed a shawl and I cut a hole in it. <laughs> oh my God, it looked really cool. But boy, not when I got home. And Grandma found that shawl and had that coat cut hole in it for the, you know, so I could put it on like a poncho man. I got it with him. The wonder I turned out the way I am today. <laughs> I guess uh, maybe I can ask Damon and Fred because we were talking about this at one point. My Nina Awanf, a troublemaker. So we were talking about and we called Janice up for a word for like troublemaker. What did we say? It was that's all, that's the that's the word that came to my mind is um uh they would uh guess that it would The town and Paisian, you would you would you are you are Kushum. <laughs> oh, Uksh Uksh. Uksh. <laughs> Is that it? Uksh Uksh. Uksh Uksh. Uksh Uksh. Uksh Uksh. Uksh Uksh. <clears throat> yeah, Ukshuksh, the prankster, yeah, Kshumisha, be the troublemaker. No, you guys don't, you, every time you go around that person, you know, you get in trouble. Chuk. Yeah, I just I'm not sure. I just I, um, that word is um that where I was. Oh, we're down at um, Lincoln City. And um It was funny because what I, what I found funny about it is that the sign was broken. The sign on the on on the on the at the casino was broken, and uh, it I'm trying to find it. And see right now. Oh yeah, that. Uh, so the first thing that came to mind when I was, was that word, chuk, because the uh, I and the N on Chinook Winds was, was out. What? <laughs> 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 
Chuck wins. wins. <laughs> Rotten wins. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's what, that's what came to mind. That's awesome. I got to take a picture of that. That's... <laughs> <laughs> the Chinook wins and the iron end was happened to be happened to not work. The lights were like Chuck wins. <laughs> Start laughing. The show's like, what's that? <laughs> that means rotten winds. <laughs> bad, bad smelling winds. It's gross. <laughs> Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> Chukitilasha. <laughs> That's bad smelling. It'd be like almost like um, chuk. How would you just be describe that? It's really. Would that be kind of like har- harsh? Yeah, payu chuk. Yeah, payu chuk. Tell you, Chucky, too, is a cushy with chin nux, now me, 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 a cushy cushy. You, you would chapayo chuk tamin while two on me. Yeah. Really just stunk rotten and, you know, and he was a coot laki, what's that? He was a deaf dog. And he just probably had some things in his ears that he couldn't hear anymore. But at the same time, uh, and I was talking about that with uh, students, and <laughs> I can't remember what brought it up, but I said, yeah, it's funny. Like, sometimes our dogs, you know, like, you know, you, we give them a bath, you know, just to do something with them. And the ones that we could catch and, you know, give them a bath to. And then here they turn around and run and find something, some dead animal, a rotten animal, and they roll in it. Ah, like, oh, God, you know. Yeah. You know, how you took tea with me? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why dogs do that. Our dogs did the same thing too. It's not really, not really, really gross. <laughs> yeah. Chook. But yeah, I just wanted to share that, show, show that word. And I seen it and I was like, I have, I have to take a picture of that. And that's just awesome. Chuck wins. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Sigma Chuku. Tuniwa Sapi Lamsa. Is that another uh, word you guys know for like someone who makes fun of people? Yeah. Someone who ridicules others. It sounds like it might be harsher than uksh uksh. Is that right? Yeah, there's ukshuksh is, uh, is someone just like to play pranks on this one. Sapilamsa, someone that, that likes to um, ridicules or puts others down. Ah, uh, it's like, ah, is sapilamsa. Or if you're like really critical. Now he's, yeah, there you go. Now he's subpilam shah. Now he's being, now he's being overly, overly critical. Are you? My, my Nina, I want her. I pranked Tautilich. And uh, 
<laughs> Shooks. Uh, he was that worried about um. How would you say that? I um. Nush. Nush. Print. There is a word for that. Yeah. Oh, what is that word? Because uh, I don't know, I can't remember who brought that up. Someone wanted to say that same thing. Um, uh, what, is it? what is it? I knew, I knew you were at it. We had it, we had it. Oh, I can't remember, maybe the doctor's job. How would you say that again? Not, um, to uh, prank somebody. Um, you know, she just did something, uh, you know, did something funny. Yeah. Cool. In Nachi Chawa Nash, Ksai in the Pishana Iwacha, uh, Kupi, Kutamin is Sky in Aquinam, in Aquinam, Niko Annie Namaniwa and Niko, um, Anik Chitautelix, Niko Chawi in Tusha, Niko Nawachaknak Wap to Katnampa. Nakushi Chawitness and Tushnash Nakun Pushi now at Chad to mean Ish Sky Anik Chitautilix Kut Kasai Nakunamash Alkun is Pushana Iwacha Kupi Nashkun is Akinuna Chamna Iwacha Kupi with our orange peeling sim the Nifi Tiana Kunki. Like, what the heck's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> pulled a good one on me that time and like as soon as I dislike how she looks now it is exactly <laughs> that's all I saw <laughs> at the other end of the long I was like <laughs> <laughs> and then it was all quiet he's all huh? he gets up all fast guy takes off <laughs> and I was all pointy <laughs> <laughs> yeah my what does it be? We we Masawi? We Masawi. We Masawi. We we what we Masawi. We Masawi. Yeah, we Masawi. We Masawi Nash. Doubt the The E would actually drop off on that one now. Yeah. We must out. We must out. We not shout to Hmm. We must out. Huh. No, that. That would be um, like, we masawit would be like prank, right? Be a good one, good word for prank. We masawit. Not prank, we masawit. Dautelich. Masawit, uh, you know. We masawit. Yeah. Yeah, that masa is a, uh, you know, I guess whatever's like funny. Mm -hmm. Not only in that sense of that, it's uh, uh, funny in terms of uh, uh, 
like cranking, but sometimes uh, an akush, um, an akush iwa an akush tunich sinwit tanan flamen ma, an akush nachtilak ya as akush mimi mas aik na an akush i. I heard her say that that was atwa Emilia kalwash an akush. Masa, how did she say that? Masawa and Masawa and she was laughing about how somebody or either how something was said with that Masawa and was like a, a funny way to say something, mm -hmm. you know. And so, you know, it was you know like how some some things because I think even I can't remember what that story ever was that. Uh, Janice knows part of that story about how the Wanapums, uh, they, they really, they said something um, and the way that they used their word, it came out different for the ones like from Rockford, like Levi George and Josephine, that when they looked at each other and they, you know, here it was something that was said where what they thought, what the Levi and I thought they said something about, you know, that they're doing something with the cows or something. And, you know, it was really, really different and it made them laugh. And I'm a supper sin with and a Christian mean case. And, you know, they say things funny or different the way that they say it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that Masa. You know, like Jonathan says that now, you know, like, that's so funny. <laughs> and I think if you would say it twice, um, some of size, uh, you know, like, it's really funny, I guess. Yeah, stuff, stuff, stuff. Yeah, Masa, Masa. <laughs> Do you need one Masa? I like a lot. No, oh, just um, looking at all these different great these words here. Sa Satwa An. That you no, know, these so just thinking back on the, the Sunridge students, how they're their um their one that one class is really really um asked asked a lot of questions and did a lot of things like you know here. They're um they're interested and want to make words for things that we do not have. They want to, you know, have words for it. They want to make words for it. They're they're trying. Yeah. So we miss out. We, you know, I've never heard of a word for for word prank, which is sorry. I've never really heard it in a actually in a like an action form, miss it's funny. Masa, you are. Things like that. I think I've heard, uh, you know, like, uh, just like how I was, like, um, like how I was saying, tunam, tunam fisha, then same thing, I think, with, with that other form of tukin. Mm -hmm. Tukin them, um, tukin them, um, you know, so like how you got your word there, mas, we masa, tukin them, um, we masa, we sha, or mis, tukin them, um, masasha. Either way, it uh, seemed like it would, you know, work that way. Tukin them, um, we masa, we sha. You know, what are you, uh, what are you going to be cranking about or whatever, something like that. <laughs> I know Annie's 
got something clicking in her mind right now. <laughs> Another one she did, she come back from Portland and asking if I wanted to, you know, some, uh, what is it? Uh, those donuts, that donut place. Voodoo donuts. Voodoo's. Voodoo's, yeah. They made it look good. Big old, nice, big pink box, you know, thinking to get a, just a box full of donuts. Got one little donut and I can't remember what else, all kinds of, I don't know what all you had in it. There was like napkins, toys, gum, <laughs> trash. <laughs> it was full of like other stuff. Then there was like one little donut. From the car, <laughs> everything that just picked up randomly from the car and dropped it off. <laughs> Took off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's when it does quite the quite the fishman. Yeah. To me, uh know what the the inamusha. So now I'm some of the stuff in the group of nich from so glad you guys are all part of the good language here. Teach them killer sla, any cool, um, um, the mat taith from time, time mat taith from time mat taith from time mat taith from e. Yeah. 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 Can or did do? Just wondering if you guys had time for time for that. Real quick, Mish Taimata Pama Awa Shopnit. Huh? Does Taimata Pama have a question? Oh, I think she was going to tease Tautalix about his oh. uh, his background. <laughs> I was going to say, how is it in Hawaii? <laughs> so, Mish. Yeah. My knee, my knee, you are. My knee, you are Hawaii, pa. So, what well, wouldn't it be that even in, in theirs, so it's Hawaii, it's a Hawaii? It's actually a glottal between the two eyes. Well, it's the more appropriate way to spell it. I always blank though on how to even get to there. Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh no, I just, I just, that's the only thing that thought of stop I've seen in the, in the two eyes, how they. My knee, my, my knee, Hawaii, pa. How is it in Hawaii? And that's where the literal um, how is in there. My knee. Is that we had all those all these terms in there that um, like we had in the beginning, you know, like um, payu, payunash, 
Uh, that's, that's not working there. Cluck. Clucknash we masalisha. I'm I'm um I'm pranking a lot. Sleek we e we must e we sleek we e we can't talk right now. Sleek we e we 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 Uh my <laughs> <laughs> any we miss <laughs> I contribute that one instead. Makes more sense. <laughs> Mice, mice every day. Yeah, because uh, Sleekly would be would be different. It'd be like telling the story of what you did yesterday. Sleekly, Sleekly, we miss out. We miss out, Annie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All day yesterday, you know, Annie and Annie was playing. Uh, all day yesterday, Annie pranked, pranking everybody, pranked everybody, or pranked, played pranks. Yeah. Yeah. Or say, um. Moose moose nush we masau me me masau we masauisha or me me we masa me masauin moose nush me wasauin I I I play I play a little bit of pranks. Or say, um, I think all this this next one will probably um, all tie into one word. Chow kpile nash we misalisha. Lately, I haven't played, been play, have haven't been playing pranks. Say palalai, we we miss out it. Lots of pranks, or many, 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 many pranks. Lots or many. 
because sluck would be lots, actually, yeah. Sluck would be lots. Uh, palalai would be, would be like on the on on things of saying many. They're like almost like different kinds. You can say palalai, many, many, like almost like referring to be a, you know, different styles, different, you know, different methods, palalai. We we miss so it different 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 kinds of pranks many kinds of pranks, a lie, pluck would be just a just a bunch it just don't matter it's all thrown in the thing but, a lie would um, indicate it was, uh. Chamnanash Vimasawiya. I haven't even played any pranks. That's where the not even comes in. I haven't even. Played in French. Cham nana shui we musawiya. So, going on, going on. What we have here, you know, the the words that uh, we musawi, we musawi, you know, using all these ter- trying to trying to figure out terms to make it work with the, with the words that we've been working with, pluck, uh, chow. Um, Bail, Sliqui, Mice, Mice, Palalai, Sluck, Moose, like, um, Pai, Pai, We we are we took we we must uh we must uh we ha it's it's hard to play pranks on Annie. Very difficult, yeah, that's good, right? You can write that. Very difficult to play pranks on Annie. Because she knows the tricks. <laughs> to be a prankster, you gotta know what's what the what people's gives. Are they are, are there are they acting? You gotta really study your so your surroundings, you know, you know how people act and how they act in different acting strains, like, okay, something's up. Oinam, <laughs> we 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 masawita. You can't pull a fast one on her. Is that right? You won't be able to. Yeah. Quiam, she sees right through my pranks now. Actually, it would be it would be hard. It's 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 hard. It's, it's gonna it's hard for you to pull a prank. Mm-hmm. Because uh, the won't, that's where the chow would come in. Okay. Chow we we misawit that I might die if bum. It would be very difficult for you. Poinam, we misawit that. We've got it less difficult. than a minute. Yeah, it will be difficult for you to play, to, to prank. I might die if bum. 
We've got less than a minute, and I do need to be okay. hopping off after this. No All right. Anyone else? Well, uh, pra practice with this. Um, try to come up with some phrases for next Wednesday with this list. Uh, John will send it out, and I'm not sure if the guys got the notes for it. So he was trying to come up with, with some with some different phrasing with this with these words also again. So I'd like to hear, I want to hear what you guys come up with. So with that, I bid you guys a uh, good weekend. You guys take it easy, have fun, be safe. See you guys. Kino Tamatash Matabs for y'all. Hey, Kwato Nawa Shamatash. See your friends in Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.